Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Earlier today, a user in the chat room known as Big John Midland was asking a question uh, specifically related to processors. It says, Chris, my computer has Intel Pentium dual core. What does the dual core part mean? Dual, as most people know, means two. Sometimes the word duo is uh, also two and quad, four, octo, eight. And we're all dealing with similar terms in terms of new processors that are being released. Dual core uh, is essentially two processors on one die. And the advantage of this is that you can get twice the amount of processing power. Normally, if the software hasn't been optimized for multiple processor platform, the speed difference between a single core system and a dual core system or something with one processor versus two or more processors isn't going to be as great. If uh, you have a lot of multimedia applications, video, audio, uh, even things dealing with digital photos or images, um, chances are those vendors, software developers, have optimized that software for the dual core or two processors or beyond already. I mean, people have had two processor systems for so long, it's just been so expensive, and the technology hadn't advanced to the point where they could get two processors on one die. Now that's exactly what it means. Dual, quad, octo, these are all systems that are readily available. Well, I don't know how ready, but they are available. Someone, when we were going over this earlier, asked the question, should they train... Uh, oh, thanks for, the, thanks for that uh, note of confidence, guest. Uh, said that I was very happy a couple seconds ago, in case you missed that. Uh, thank you. I, I am actually very happy. Um, the, uh, uh, <laughs> anyway, the, uh, uh, he was asking if he should trade his single-core Mac for a new dual core um, or something, what are the core two duos? Uh, the advantage, yeah, you you may get you know a lot of uh, you know a lot more out of your your hardware, but you know for the most part, we haven't gotten to the point where you know it's twice it is twice as fast. Some people would argue the the opposite, but for most workaday applications like web surfing, email, and whatnot, um, going between a single core and a dual core, the difference is not all that great. Um, at least that's been my experience, and I'm sure benchmarks would lead you to believe otherwise. But there's something to be said about actually using a system with the software in that environment compared to, um, you know, reading numbers and that say, well, this is twice as fast. Well, in theory, it may be twice as fast. My recommendation, if you were going to wait specifically on a MacBook, I would wait. I would rather wait for the next release of OS 10 Leopard, which will knock on wood be in a few months, uh, to actually upgrade and get a new system uh, than I would uh, upgrade to get a new processor. Uh, up until last year, I was still running on an Intel Pentium 4, the first hyper-threaded processor that they released, I think it was a 3 gigahertz, uh, and just recently it had upgraded, uh, well, I'm, I'm running a, a Quad FX system, an AMD Quad FX system right now, um, and, and the differences, they're, they're noticeable, but not like huge night and day like differences that you would necessarily notice. When it comes to, as I said before, audio, video, multimedia heavy applications, and in some, in some cases uh, disk operations or applications that really write to the disk a lot, uh, a faster system usually does translate into more productivity. Um, so I guess that's the that's what the dual core means. Is it is it worth doing? Yeah, if you if you're wanting to upgrade now and it's been a while, sure it's worth doing. Uh, but it, again, it, it all really depends on you know how much you want to spend. Uh, is is the gigahertz everything it's cracked up to be? Which is I guess that's the next question that would probably spring to mind. Not really. Um, just because you have a faster uh, system processor, I mean, every other part of that system is going to be just as important, including the way that commands are handled uh, by the actual processor, the input uh, of, of the commands. And, and that's the large difference between Intel, Intel's multiple core systems and AMD's multiple core systems. Um, and by and large, again, it, it boils down to software and which software has specifically been optimized for one platform or one processor type uh, over another.